Call the meeting back to order. No decisions were made in executive session. Ms. Lee, did you have anything else? I do not. Thank okay. you. All right. Scott? Uh, I have Dave Yo's resignation letter from the airport board. I need a motion to accept. I move we accept Dave Ewan's resignation from the airport authority. I guess I'll second. It's been moved and seconded to accept Dave Ewan's resignation from the airport board. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Okay, uh, I applied for the uh, physical sh uh, security regulation grant program through the Kansas Secretary of State's office for election equipment. With the new regulations coming down, they found money for us. I requested $12,574.34 and it was approved. It is a 90-10 match. Um, I don't think I'm going to do everything. I kind of shot for the moon. <laughs> Didn't think I would. <laughs> But they approved, they approved it all, so I'll be working on that. It's set up, so. Uh, just want to remind everybody about Monday at 1 o'clock. Is that what I said? I told you. You said 1, yeah. If we can make it 2, it'd be better. But if it is 1, I'll, I'll get back. That was 2. Because I got all screwed up on is the day. It two? Too. Messed up, sorry. And it's just a work. No, one o'clock. Yeah, one you want to change it, too? Well, if you guys can. If not, I'll be. I'll just leave Goodland early. Monday the eleventh, the eighteenth. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, How long do we think it'd take? As long as you let them jabber. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Last year's what we. Had. Hour, hour and a half. It's two o'clock, all right, with you guys. Yeah, two's fine with me. Two's fine. Yeah, I mean, just that way you didn't have to close an hour. Yeah, early. I'll just send out a okay. email to the guys. heads of times changed. And we have a meeting this afternoon, right? <laughs> okay. See, that's what I thought. But okay. It was Monday. It okay. was. <laughs> I have four abatements for your approval.
sell the Wheeler equity. Do what? They're trying to sell the Wheeler co op. Really? That's what I was told. Under what? No rail. Uh -oh. I can't compete. Zero zero two one to zero zero two four. So move. I'll second it. It's been uh, moved and seconded to approve abatement zero zero two one to zero zero two four. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Okay. All opposed. Thank you, Kelly. Yes. Now, Monday's the meeting for exactly what are we doing? Uh, hey, Kelly. Going yeah. through um, employees are going to evaluate their employees. Oh, back to you. Okay. Department heads are going to uh -huh. evaluate their employees. All right. That's that one. Two o'clock. Flag is. Oh gosh, hard telling. <laughs> but it's pretty old. Mm -hmm. Do you want to get stress in? You got some new wind and uh, flop. Don't tell me. <laughs> well, what's the flop that does? <laughs> So we are collecting taxes. Yay. Um, we've collected about 22% out of the total tax roll as of last night. So we're, normally we collect by the end of December about 60% of the tax roll. So I have two days worth of mail sitting on the desk <coughs> that Mel was working through right now. Um, 
So we're a little behind, but we're we're catching up. Um, I don't know that I'll use that same company next year to mail out the taxes. I've had some pretty big hiccups with some um, some of the, I got two statement or two envelopes returned to me that had the same address and they're supposed to be in the same envelope. That was the whole point of me doing these proofs and doing all this this two week prep mm -hmm. work. Um, so that that was a big red flag that I got them. I mean, they were returned because the address was incorrect, which is on us. But the fact that they were in two separate envelopes was on them. Um, and I got two envelopes returned that didn't have any postage at all on them. So they were returned to us for us to put postage on to mail back out. So if we're going to spend money to have this company do it, then they need to do it right. And this was... A hiccup. Yeah. This, yeah. So... Um, the original invoice that they sent me that we've I've already paid out of my treasurer's budget was for 8,602 statements. Um, they actually mailed out 8,708 statements, so it's a difference of 106 statements. Um, so I'll be getting another bill just for those 106 statements. But out of this total that I paid out of um, my treasurer's budget, that included postage, which normally postage doesn't come out of the treasurer budget, it comes out of the general. So I'm going to transfer it when I get the final bill that lists it. They estimated the postage being at $1,440. Um, but when I get the final bill, I'm going to transfer that postage from the general to reimburse my treasurer budget because normally would, that's how it would have come out. Um, so like I said, they estimated about $1,440. But I'll scan everything and have everything with all the so the auditors can see it and know what's going on. But I just want to let you guys know. So. Um, nothing new on the employment. I did my one interview. I don't think she's going to work out. So um, I'm waiting for more applications. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Um, and then have you talked about Tyler yeah, at all? Okay. So I've done extensive research on um, this company called Tyler Technologies for software um, to replace CIC. I was also working with Comtech a little bit, with, which was the company that mailed out our tax statements for us. Um, their software program is, I think, going to be obsolete here in the next year or two. So I didn't really pursue them, and their salesperson called me and said, hey, I'll schedule something with you next week, and never called me back. So I, that kind of said that. <laughs> so I've been, like I said, I've been working extensively with Tyler Tech, um, had several conference calls, uh, did some Zooms. Um, they have a full package. They, they can do beyond what we need, um, and it's up to date as far as... Um, where CIC was going to have to update. Right, okay. right. This is this is that's already good. That's good. like up to date with brand new technology. Mm -hmm. It's um, like going from Windows ninety five to Windows eleven. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's it is really yeah. Wow. Yes. So after all of my conversations with them, we did set up a dem. I set up a demonstration Zoom, um, and Scott and Sharissa were a part of that, so they could demonstrate the HR functionality, the payroll functionality, the budgeting. Um, cash receding. So most of, I'd say 100% of what you guys use CIC for and most of what I use CIC for, mm -hmm. um, I have, we were so impressed with it that I went ahead and contacted them about their tax portion because that's a different, like, Branch of it. Um, so I have, and I had an initial Zoom with him and I'm beyond impressed. Um, the appraiser already uses their appraiser because the state requires them to use Orion, which is the Tyler appraiser portion. So that would be, if we ended up switching to this, that's already in place here. Right now, Amanda's doing double entry. She has to use Orion for the state, and she has to use CIC for us. So those two systems don't really talk to each other very well, so she's doing double entry. Mm -hmm. So that, if we switched and she just had Orion, that would alleviate her doing all that double entry into CIC. Um, so I have that Zoom demonstration probably sometime in January where they're going to walk through and show me how the functionality of the tax program works. 
um, and how it, from the appraiser side, it feeds into the treasurer side and into the clerk side and how it all kind of works. So, um, very promising. So we, Scott and I went ahead and got a quote for some of the stuff um, just to kind of see where they were at price-wise because if they're way out of, why I don't want to waste my time or your guys' time <coughs> on. Um, and I, I don't know, I don't know what. the 82 page contract <laughs> last night in the email. It's very comparable to what we are currently. It's a little bit more than CIC, but not. To switch over, it's going to be a bit of money. Right. For them to get but, everything. Because they're going to have to migrate all of this. Right. But as discussed at the department head meeting, Jeannie would go ahead and stay yes. with CIC and because I, of the register of deeds and yep. the records and the data. And right. The, Right. Okay. And I told Tyler that, that that was the way our county was most likely going to go was that the register of deeds would stay on CIC with everything and how would that affect this? And he said there would be no no problem with it. She could continue to work on CIC between <coughs> Jeannie and Amanda right now. It's pretty much a hard copy paper trail. Um, so th that would just remain and then Amanda would just continue on, but not have to do the double entry into CIC and Orion, and it would feed in, and it would be, it would work out right. great. Because the concern was the, the amount of documents and right. data. And right, so we would have to keep a contract with CIC for register of deeds. Um, and I'm currently using their minutes taker, and I'd have to find some, and I forgot to ask if they even have, I doubt it. Well, I have, I've, yeah, the full I have the full brochure of everything that they offer. Right. So I think CIC is going to drop in the state for me. So. I think they are too. They're, they had so talked about dropping some of the smaller programs that they right. just didn't want to support. Um, so yes, the initial switch over from CIC to Tyler would there would be an extra cost is that it, we would have to. That number then, ninety six. That's three years. Okay, three years, thirty about thirty. No, yeah. that's that's got the switch over. The that switch oh, with the switch, switch but that's three switch. over three years plus the switch. I don't know for sure what. Cap it looks like. It's one of one of the four would eight, stay, and the other three three would switch. <clears throat> okay. mm -hmm. That's our current. I, I want to see what their tax program looks like first before. Um, Minus the switch, it is very comparable. Though. Yeah. You can, it's so customizable. You can make your own reports. And if, then if there's you, one that you don't like, you can yeah, change it. Yeah, you can change it. You can schedule reports to automatically send to department heads. Well, isn't the backup also? The backup, so they have uh, three, which CIC said this too. So um, they have a server bank in some place in Texas. They have a server bank someplace in Maine. And then they have the cloud server base. Everything, even if we were on the cloud, everything would be backed up to all three points. So if the cloud got hacked and they had to shut it down, they'd pull us, they'd get us up and running from one of the other server points wherever it was last saved. They alternate the saves. I mean, it. <clears throat> well, you're way over my head. <laughs> well, yeah, there, I'm really happy. I thought we were buying bicycles. <laughs> Did you want a bicycle? Do you want the one with the basket? Maybe they send a bike with it. <laughs> I'll take the electric one. <laughs> um, so this was just preliminary. I understand what you're doing, but it's clear over my head. Yeah, so. Um, people know what you need. Well, that's yeah. probably pretty good because CIC is going to have to update. They're going to have to rate. They're going to have to. Our contract is going to go up. They've already oh, yeah, they've course. already confirmed that it's right. going to go up. We just don't know how much, and they're not willing to tell us if it's going to be ten percent, twenty percent, or what. So but that's this uh, this is going to give you. CIC, that's the ones that went down on us two or three times. Yes, yes. It just went down last. And week. CIC was down in the middle of us doing this conference, <laughs> so it was extra like. And they're using all that outdated stuff. Yes, these guys sound like they're not. So that's yes. going to be a better. They've already solid, made all the transitions. Yeah, so They've been making these transitions so the as they come. Solid. Yeah, there's a lot of work to change over. It's going to be learning. Stuff. Yeah, they have a pretty. I mean, they have a team that does this. That they have an itinerary that'll say, you know, the clerk needs to do this, this, and this. The treasurer will do this, this, and this. We'll do this, and it's a whole uh, step by step 
according to what they said, it would be a whole step-by-step -step approach that we just kind of check off the things that we do and... Um, I, I'm, after this last one, I was kind of done anyway, but right. I'm done after this last one. Because I was like, I was... I got to go through this payroll crap again, you know, like the last time. Right. And luckily they were up yeah. faster, but... Um, and CIC's having... a big conference call next week on the 19th I invited reach to be involved with it because right. it is about their technology move and what they have plans for next year right. um, and what they're going to implement um, the fact that they got hacked again though and they actually sent a letter out saying that they did get hacked last week and that was what had happened it, it's very alarming I think yeah it is so and this Tyler would be cloud-based so we wouldn't need to get a server for the... You can access it anywhere. Yeah. There's phone. There's all sorts of fun So do you feel things. comfortable you have with the price that it's going to be to change over? And... Yeah, that, that's what this was. Okay. But that doesn't but include I mean, the tax right, system. Right. It doesn't so, include that yet. This is about the same amount as what we're paying CIC. But, but it's less it. services, which I think CIC next year and years beyond that is just going to keep going up. Right. I think in January we'll have some hard hard numbers for you once I have the tax okay, system. So you don't need a motion or anything yet. You're just ready just to pursuing it. Uh, I, I would like to get going. Counties are switching. They've already had what three or four. Yes, since and they're, last they're week. switching Switch. the title too. Yes, from okay. CIC. So, okay. If, so I don't know where the contract. If, if yeah, I think Leslie needs to go through this contract and everything. Yeah. I also think you need to ruminate on it for till the next meeting. I yeah. think, and then maybe make a decision. Okay. I think that's but, wise. Yeah, it's 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 pretty impressive. What, and the fact that the appraiser's office, I mean, the state of Kansas already requires the appraiser's office to use their product. Um, I mean, there's, I think they're, I think it's a good way to go. If I want to search them, do I just go type in Tyler? Yep, Tyler Technologies. Tyler Technologies. Okay. Yep. And I actually, he sent me um, some little videos that mm -hmm. kind of show, and I can email, he sent them to me in emails. I can just send it. Just yeah, let me know. I don't check my emails. Okay. Well, I will send you an email today. Okay. So check I'll, your email today. I'll watch. It. I'll watch for it tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. And then yeah, it it just kind of goes through. Okay. So that's all I had. Do you guys have any questions for me as far as anything going on? Thanks for all your work. Yep. Yeah. Thanks. Yep. Yeah. Exciting. You all worked on it. Closely heard. Yeah. It's been frustrating and exciting all at the same time so <laughs> love hate yeah okay thanks Tom thank you have a good Christmas thank you YouTube come on up guys sorry all right. you? pretty good yeah. if you guys don't know me I'm Jordan Dapmer with Penco Engineering I'll give you a left hand <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm here this morning for a bid opening for off-system bridge number 12 located uh, northwest of St. Francis. You guys are probably over Hackberry Creek. Okay. Uh, we were to receive, we accepted email bids up at from our office up to 4 o'clock yesterday afternoon okay. and any bid this morning in person up to 9 a.m. So if, if, if without further, I guess I'll read the bids out loud if unless you guys have any questions before we start. I know. Do you? Where is that bridge exactly now? Uh, it's on 11 Road over Hackberry Creek. It'd be one, two, three, four and a half miles north of Highway 27. There's a map. Would that be up by the bridge? Ocker Bridge. Ocker Ocker bridge. Yeah. yeah, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, East, west, or the north, south? Is it the north, south? The north, south. Yeah, yeah, yes, correct. These are, it's a timber structure currently okay. that uh, the, set, the <coughs> south abutment has been shored up in the past. Um, so, anyway, this is uh, this project is funded by the Kansas Local Bridge Improvement Program, also known as KLBIP. Mm -hmm. um, the county we we filled out an application what a year ago. 
um, for this structure. The county is responsible for design cost right away, which we have no right away. We had temporary easements and both parties on each side of the road um, through various deals mm -hmm. require no cash <coughs> from the county. Um, and uh, utility relocation. Those are the only costs that you're responsible for. The state of Kansas will pay for the okay. construction and construction engineering, construction inspection. So, uh, first bid is from Reese Construction Company for a total dollar amount of $370,414.86. And the second and final bid is from L&M Contractors out of Great Bend. For a total of three hundred and twenty nine thousand four hundred and seventy one dollars. Um, just to supplement that information, I think somewhere here I've got them. You should be right up here, Ben. Yes. Okay. And Reese is out of Wichita, I believe. Salina, excuse me. Okay. And my in the engineer's estimate from us is just to supplement that information is three hundred and seventy five thousand eight hundred and forty five dollars so both of these bids seem reasonable and they are accompanied with all the appropriate documents bid bonds and have we worked with both of these yeah Reese did uh, trout hill bridge yeah they did trout bridge okay. and we have worked with l m in the past you yeah. have Yes. Yep. So there's a difference of how much between the two? Yes. Oh, uh, give or take 40,000. About 40,000. 40, 30. Yeah, give or take. What do you think? I'm not familiar with L&M, but you say we have had them. Yeah, they have done a lot of structures They do pretty good us. work. I mean, no problems. Yeah. Sometimes they need a little more attention than others, but yes, they do pretty good work. But you have, well, we'll be on site as okay. We're, we're, we have an agreement. Um, well, you're, you're required actually to have a for this for this KDOT money. You're required to have a construction inspector, and we're hoping to send you guys a contract for a construction inspector, <coughs> which will be reimbursed by the state of Kansas. So, yeah. So, did you say? It's a hundred percent state funded, or do we? It is. The construction and construction inspection are one hundred percent state funded. <clears throat> it will be a pass through through the county. You'll pay the bill and then get reimbursed from the state of Kansas for this. So because of you guys' population density, there's no matching funds. Sometimes there's a 90-10 funding for construction right, or an 80-20. Right, right. But because Cheyenne County has a low population density, this project is 100% funded other than the design cost. So what is the out-of-pocket for the county? Uh, I don't recall what our design contract was. We have a contract with you for the design for this bridge, and that would be primarily your out-of-pocket expense. Okay. Um, it would be somewhere in the neighborhood of fifteen thousand, twenty thousand. Okay. That would, yeah, that will be that will be your out of pocket. So, do we have to accept one of the? Bills? Yes, you. We do need a motion to accept. Doesn't that seem kind of strange? The state's doing it, and we have to accept the bid. I. I I suppose they're they're funding the structure. It's your structure. You're the owner of the bridge, and we can pick either one we want. Because you could it's, because you, it's under the three seventy five. Yeah, technically, as, you as would as have we, to have a reason. Primarily, low bid is accept. Like, is you would have to have a a formal reason in this meeting to not accept low bid, or you you, you could cite prior work history or something like that. Well, it kind of sounded like the Reese is a little better. To work with. That's you. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Roger. What's the matter? Oh, you don't like me. <laughs> You're on. I'm pretty sure he can't call me. <laughs> no, we we have a good working relationship with L and M. We really do. Well, yeah. like, to me, we ought to go with the lower just because it'll put more money back in the state to build another bridge somewhere. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. 
if you feel they're going to I have no reason job. for you not to accept low bid today. And if you're on site or whatever. And we will be on site. So we yeah. know it. Yeah. Was that a motion? It's a motion. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll second it. It's been moved and seconded to approve the bid for $329,471 from Ellen and them. Okay, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed. And what's your name so we know we get Jordan Detmer. Jordan, I'm going to write that. J O R D A N. I think I got that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you your last D E T T M E R. Are you all right with that? I should have been asking you. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're missing your seat here. Yeah, you <laughs> are. Oh. I'll leave this up. might help build another bridge somewhere. Right. Yeah, it'd be better if I go with the lower. Yeah. And the state of Kansas. Down, right. The, 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 the state of Kansas would frown upon us probably if we didn't otherwise. Yeah. yeah. We, it, well, I mean, we could. We could, but we'd have to have a valid reason, and right. I'm not sure we have that no. today. So. And you don't you don't have an estimate on the uh, engineering cost. The, right. the engineer construction inspection. Right. What we're responsible yeah. for. Oh, you're just responsible for the design, which is already occurred. right. Our issues I even spoke. This yeah. Time. No, I don't. Okay. I should have brought that information with me. I think I think we I we have a contract somewhere. I should have reviewed that before. I think you've already done it. Right. Well, it was right. You probably already paid it. Right. Yeah, I think, I think we, we, I'm not sure if we've invoiced you guys yet or not, but it will be somewhere in the park of 50 okay, to 20,000. Yeah, so, yeah. But that, for these construction documents, and we, we facilitated right away in those kinds of things. So, and you, utility relocates. And then there'll be another contract um, to do the construction inspection, the on site work. And uh, we haven't sent that. We'll send that to. The county will sign the agreement, and you will get reimbursed for it from the state. So, typically, like a lot of times, for well, like I said, for this program, like you guys are just, I guess, blessed with a low population density because <laughs> in this in this, in this particular in, yeah. in this one situation, <laughs> the one time it's working in your favor, yes, that that there's zero percent match. But typically, this program has a five to twenty percent match. Based off the population density, right. um, so it's really good for you guys at this point. You're getting a four, you know a four hundred thousand dollar bridge for you know twenty thousand dollars. So basically, it's what's happening. But uh, yeah, we'll send that we contract. We got a lot more of them. Right. Hope to be here again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I do. Sorry, this is what we do. Yeah, so. Can I program Jordan? Is there three more years? Yeah. Right now, okay, there's two programs that are really good for what you guys are doing. There's the Off System Bridge Program and the KLBIB program. And uh, we have been submitting applications on your behalf with you know with guidance from the county. Um, for both of those programs, we do it every <coughs> year. And uh, the Trout Hill Bridge was also um, I think that was a 90-10 at that time, right? You would have had to pay 10%. Right. Right. But, but because of the federal government's BIL program, um, the state of Kansas has been forced. I don't really think they're gracious enough to, to say that they have done it with their own will. But they have been forced to increase funding for both of these two programs, the off system and the KLBIP program. And both of them right now have $20 million a year. So there's $40 million a year that is being allocated at the state level just for local bridges, for county-owned structures. And before the increase in funding four years ago, it used to be five. Both programs have. So they have both have four times the funding for four years at minimum. So right now, like, and we're busy because we're trying to we're trying to get as much of that money as possible for this area of the world, yep. um, which is, I mean, that's that's what we do. But I'm I'm a little worried. We're going to try to replace as many bridges in the next four years as we possibly can, and then we'll see what they do. The state does with the funding. But these contracts I didn't even ask you. Is there a completion date? Yes, in our specifications that we're submitted with this. The late start date is September 3rd. So the, the contractor can start this project anywhere from tomorrow to September 3rd. But in our contract documents, we stated that the roadway shall remain open to traffic from June 17th to July 7th during har harvest. 
that's what I picked for a harvest window. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> you had a little trouble with that window last uh, year? <laughs> I'm not saying anything. It's probably a little later than July 7th this year. Oh, anyway, it's not going to happen. They're from uh, from. But I, we know we work with both these contractors almost on a daily basis. And if I had to guess, L and M is going to move in probably from the way it sounds in late January or February. So it's going to get built pretty soon, which is going to be a nice. This is a good winter project for a lot of contractors. It's a steel stringer bridge. And it can be done. There's not a lot of concrete. Just the deck is concrete. So it's a good winter project for these kind of guys. So usually, that's well, that's why we tried to let it before the end of the year. Actually, is to get a competitive bid. And, uh, but so yeah, it, should, it won't be September third. It could be, but I don't think it will be. Okay. That's probably not a real heavily traveled road. It'd be, it'd be on the lighter. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, that's that. Thank, thank you. you guys for coming. Thank you. Also, thank you guys for your business. You're welcome. We've been doing, I mean, with Cheyenne County, we've been doing a lot of work for a lot of years, and we brought some, you know, some, some Christmas gifts there. I'll leave there for you. So, thank you. Uh, meats Thanks. and cheeses from Plainville, Kansas. Cool. <laughs> so, so keep them cool. Don't don't talk here all day. <laughs> we'll try not to. <laughs> thank you guys. Take care. Maybe we'll see you next year for another one of these structures. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Like, if you guys have any questions and want any projects, paving or any kinds of things, you just reach out to us okay. anytime. Thank you. Thanks, Steve, for coming in. I need to run downstairs. Can we take a quick break? I'm going to grab my phone out of the car. We'll come back. We'll wait here.